version of um, lasagna. So let me show you what we need and let's get started on dinner. Okay so you're gonna need about a half a pound of ground turkey and then seasonings for the turkey. I use pepper, basil, oregano, garlic powder, and parsley. You're gonna need ricotta cheese whichever way you like it part skim, full skim, and then your choice of sauce. I like the super chunky mushroom. And then you're going to need your lasagna noodles and you're going to need some shredded cheese. I use the four Mexican mix or four shredded Mexican mix. Um, I got my water started for the boil so let me show you what I do with the meat. Okay, so and what we're going to do there. first is we're going to brown our meat with all our tasty goodies. Um, seasoning, that is. You know, I forgot to mention. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You're also going to need some good old Worcestershire sauce. our meat let's turn our oven on to 350 okay so we're gonna add about maybe half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of the seasoning maybe half a teaspoon of the half a teaspoon of the garlic powder probably a teaspoon of the basil teaspoon of parsley teaspoon of oregano and a little bit of pepper, maybe a quarter teaspoon, eighth of a teaspoon, and then just a little bit of Worcestershire, uh, maybe a teaspoon or so, maybe a one and a half. And then continue to brown your meat until it's fully cooked. And then when it's fully cooked, you're just going to take it off the burner and let it sit because we're going to add it to our lasagna in our layers. So let's warm that up and let's get our pot cooking for our noodles. Let's boil our noodles and then um, set those aside. And then I'm going to show you guys how I layer it with all my stuff and you're gonna have a quick and easy dinner. So I will see you when your meat is brown and your noodles are cooked. Okay, so we got our noodles cooked and I cooked six lasagna noodles. I'm just gonna do, um, I guess one, two, three layers, but with only two layers of noodles, if that makes sense. I got my meat, my cheese, my ricotta cheese, and what I do first is I put just a tad of the marinara on the bottom. Now there's millions of ways to do lasagna. This is my way. Okay, and then you get a hot piping boiling noodle with your fingers like me.
And you layer it. One. Two. Yeah, push it over a little bit. And you can also make it bigger. I'm just not making it so big because there's only two adults and one small child that eats this stuff, so I don't want to go to waste. Okay, so you got lasagna noodles all layered. Now I take some of my meat and just sprinkle it on top here, or your ground turkey, I should say. take my ricotta cheese and spoon and I used to do just balls of it on here but then frankly you get so much ricotta cheese in one bite sometimes it's not that great so I just kind of spread it out if you like a lot of ricotta put a lot of ricotta take your shredded cheese and just sprinkle it on top. There's no measurements here. This is all just kind of eyeball into what your preference is. If I had more cheese, I would put, but I don't have any more. Okay, then we put our second layer of noodles. on here. Put the rest of our pasta on top here. vegetarian if you want you could probably um you know do the mushroom ragu and leave out the turkey and maybe you know add like um I don't know I'm not a big fan of eggplant but maybe slices of eggplant or um pepper bell peppers zucchini would probably be good
What are you getting? Monster Ninja. Monster Ninja. She wants to get Monster Ninja Treat. Oh, that's so nice. Miss me. Oh, he likes these. Which one are those? Uh, Old little, little uh, niblets. Making a mess with that. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I see you got it. Okay, so now we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees. Everything's cooked, so maybe 30 minutes just to get everything all warmed up and it's all all done. We're putting it in the oven. Yeah. So we're putting it in the oven at huh? Okay, later. Mommy's done, honey. Mommy's done. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes to get all melted and stuff. And then I'm going to throw in some garlic bread, make a salad. And, um, yes, okay. And then we'll come back when dinner's complete. I'll see you guys then. Okay, so our lasagna is all done. I've made some garlic bread and a salad. And then this is what your lasagna is going to look like. If you want, you can always put another layer of noodles and then just cheese. But, um, I don't. Aw, you little bugger. So anyway, that guy belongs on the bottom. So there you have it. A lovely, lovely yummy dinner. A little bit of salad. A little bit of little sagney. I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, take care. See you later.